Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Uh, as I said, between the last episode and this one, I have built myself an MFE uh, sitting there. Put some cable down. It's now powering all this stuff. Uh, at the moment, it is just, yeah, it's just running off the same, same feed that this uh, energy cells running off. Now I do need to move some stuff around. I need to move this generator and I want to move a couple of these things, but in order to move these, I'm going to need, actually if I just do extra space, yeah. So I'm going to need the electric wrench because then you can do lossless mode. Uh, the other thing I might make while I'm here is an electric tree tap. So we're going to need a couple of these power units, uh, a battery, well, two power units, a normal wrench, and a normal tree tap. So I might do that stuff uh, off camera. The other thing that I'm going to need to do is we'll get rid of these. I'm going to finally make some of the machines that run off RF. So the first few machines that I want to make is a macerator. Sorry, not a macerator, the RF version. Pulverizer. So we want to make a pulverizer here. Uh, we also want to make ourselves a, uh, what is it? One of these induction smelter. So we're gonna need an induction smelter as well. Uh, also, I've made some of the machine frames, just the basic ones in between the last episode and now. So uh, I've got some frames there ready to go. That's not all I wanna do this time. Um, I thought I'd just better do this quick intro before I made a whole bunch more stuff. Um, and you guys wondered, you know, where all this stuff appeared from. So I'm gonna run away. I will make the two tools that I wanna make for this, uh, the, the tree tap and the, and the electric wrench. Uh, pretty easy to make now that we've got, you know, the metal former uh, compressor here as well, uh, which I needed, of course, to make the energy crystals for the MFE. All right, I'll be back in just a moment with some more stuff made. All right, I'm back and I've made one extra machine as well. I made myself a fluid transposer, which we're probably not going to use just yet. We, um, I normally get one of these with a magma crucible, but I've looked at the magma crucible and it takes some pretty nasty stuff. Uh, needs nether bricks and nether bricks are a little bit interesting to get yet so we may have to take some time uh, to try and figure out how we can make some nether rack or get to the nether i guess i mean i have got uh i have got obsidian there so i could probably just make a nether portal at some point anyway i have also made the electronic wrench i have put it into lossless mode which if i hold down well actually i need to hold down shift the talk to it there says mode lossless uh, i've also managed to get myself the electric tree tap which I'm just going to use now. Cool. And I'll leave that in there. And cook up some of that. Cool. So now that I've put this into lossless mode, I'm not sure if it's actually needed for, uh, for the generators, but the way to tell is if I shift right click. Yeah, look at that. It used up pretty much all of its power. So definitely needed that to be in lossless mode. Uh, and I will put this Maybe on that side, just so that it's still connected to the MFE if we do ever need to uh, run power through that again. And we can now take that cable out of there. Put that at the back. And now we're ready to have some more machines in there. Awesome. And we might as well charge this up while we're here as well. Cool, nice and fast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So next thing that I wanted to do, uh, what did I want to do next? So now that we've made those, the thing that I was actually wanting to make out of them was, if we grab 16 of these, and we pulverize these up. How many do I get per? Should be four, excellent. So that'll make a stack of pulverized obsidian, and then we can mix it in here with some lead. Now, where is the lead? That's lead, so we can put 16 lead. In there and then we just wait for the obsidian let's awesome so the reason we're doing this is because it makes us our hardened glass now hardened glass is used for tons of things and you might have noticed before i had logistics pipes up so i wanted to make the first little bits of logistics pipes and they do need either fused quartz or hardened glass or hardened aluminum glass now hardened glass is the easiest to make by far so uh, I'm going to use that one. Diamond transfer pipe, some golden chip sets. Let's, let's make some of those as well. So gold, redstone, make some of that. 
that's some crushed obsidian left cool so that's going to be there making for a while this here is going to take a little bit to make so what i will do while i'm waiting is we're going to need to make the logistics i think it's the power junction no let's see crafting crafting table security yeah i think it is just the crafting table so wow that's really easy so we need 11 of these and six of those power up for that awesome now i'm going to want to put this probably on one of these bits of power so that's running off my energy cell the big question is which one do i want to run it off up above do i want to go up above because we're on an island i don't really like to dig down too much i'm liking the idea of having pipes flying over the top that just sort of means you can see stuff happening especially with logistics pipes so what i might do You know, I could just put it there. Whoa, all right. So we need to have 2 million LP in here and it's half right. So it's gonna cost 4 million RF to fill that. How much does this hold? Wow, so it's gonna be two complete sets of hardened energy cell to fill that up. Okay, that's gonna be pretty nasty. Let's. I'll we'll dial this back a bit. Okay, 100. That's still counting. 150. Still counting up. This is actually a really good way of seeing how much the output is. So we're still. Oh, we're going down. Look at that. Dead flat. Awesome. So that means that our wheels are outputting. What's that? 82 and a half RF per tick each side. Not quite as much as I've seen on the internet. They're supposed to be able to get to 88 or, um, I think there's some reports of it even being higher, but that's, yeah, that's still pretty decent. So I'm gonna take that down by one just so that this can still fill up again, because I think the output is per connection, which means that once I put these in there, yeah, it's gonna start counting down again. Awesome, so we're gonna need that to trickle up a little bit uh, and let us still use these machines. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so that's gonna do that. This is, that's gonna take some time. All right, so I am gonna probably, yeah, I'll cut this here because I'm gonna to need to make a few of these other things. Yeah, a couple of diamonds, that's all right. Some cobblestone. Uh, cool. So I'm going to get all this together. We'll make ourselves some logistics pipes. I may make a few more of the extra logistics pipes that I'm going to need uh, for some things I want to do. And I will be back in just a moment. Okay, back once again, and I have made a couple of things. I've made a few of the request pipes as well as a crafting logistics mark two, a request logistics pipe mark two. There's a couple of extra diamond chipsets there. Reason being, I actually want to make a request table. I'm pretty sure I've done this on camera before. Uh, I can't quite <laughs> remember which things I've done in previous episodes now because uh, I've done a few of these things. So what we're going to need though, this should be nice and quick. That there, that there, redstone at the bottom, there we go, soldering station. Now I think I'm going to need, you know what, I should have put that one block over. Actually this would be a good test, I wonder if... I wonder if stuff passes through it. Hmm. Anyway, let's do that there. I'm pretty sure this needs to be plugged into there. So let's let's get all the bits and pieces that we need. We're gonna need an iron for there. Now, what was it? Stone bricks, another crafting table, a hopper, a chest. There's a chest, crafting table. We're actually gonna need a second one. For oh. 
for the hopper. So hopper, that, that, uh, stone, oh look, I have two stone bricks already, awesome. Left over from something, not entirely sure what, but, oh, which way up does that go? Yeah, I thought it'd be the wrong way around. That there, that there, that there. Ta-da, all right, easy, too easy. Cool, so what I'm planning on doing here is we'll get a similar setup to last time in that with these storage drawers, we want to have uh, this draw controller. Where are we? Control the slave, draw controller, another diamond chipset, some drawers, uh, redstone comparators. Oh, this is going to be nasty. We are going to need some nether quartz, and nether quartz is. Yeah, nether quartz is not going to be too easy. We need to make that by sieving soul sand in fact that's probably going to be the easiest because i have been i have been to the nether uh, on skyblock before and that's why i'm sort of hesitant to do uh the nether portal just because in skyblock when you get to the nether it's literally just down at bedrock and you can get a bunch of netherrack which is you know reasonably cool um but it doesn't really give you what we need. So quartz from there, soul sand. We're not going to get soul for wax anytime soon. We're not going to get that anytime soon. Sludge boiler. Well, that's going to be a while away. Uh, witch water and sand. This could be an option actually. So witch water is a very interesting thing because we have ancient spores which we've been getting from we add that to water, add that to water, add that to water, and add that to water. These, are, we get these, let's have, I'll show you actually. Where's the recipe for that? Uh, sieving sand. So you don't get a very big chance of it dropping, but you do get some. As you can see, I've got 16 of it, which is pretty good. And as you also see, I've dropped that in. It's now 40%, 41, 42, 43, 44. So that's counting up nicely. So what I might do is I'm going to sieve some of these ancient spores uh, get myself some soul sand, sieve that, and hopefully get enough nether quartz just to make the controller. At this point, it's not going to be a very sustainable way of doing this, but to get the first draw controller, it's probably enough. So we need two of those, and each one just needs one nether quartz. So I literally need two nether quartz uh, to finish this build. Now, what did I need? It's already which water. Let's. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do a second lot just in case. So we can go sand, sand, sand. Ah! Sand, sand. Yeah, it looks red in there, but it's actually not too bad. Now, before we go wasting any more of our spores, let's just duck over here to our sieve, the standard sieve, not the heavy one. Oh, look, heaps. Awesome. All right, so we're really not going to need to do too much with this at all. And I've got a soul sand left over. I kind of, I don't really want to sieve all the soul sand just in case I find that I need it for something else. Anyway, I'm going to run away. I'll make the draw controller. Uh, we'll get ourselves a couple more things from logistics pipes. Uh, we'll need a chassis, probably just a Mark II. Let's see if it can hold two modules. Yeah, Mark II will do. Uh, and then we'll need a couple of modules. So we'll need a supplier module, I think, uh, and an item sync module. Well, I'm not sure what the polymorph polymorphic item sync module is. I think we just need the normal item sync. That's pretty easy. Green stuff, cactus green. We managed to get some cacti going over there before. And what was the other one? I think it is a provider module. I think it's a provider module that we need. So again, that golden paper, golden nugget are oh, all really easy. All right, I'll make a few of these. I'll be back in just a moment with all the bits and pieces. So I have made a bunch of stuff and the last bit, there we go, another diamond chipset. Uh, I wanted to get, where are we? Not the logistics chassis, provider module. I want to upgrade the provider module to a Mark II just so it's a bit quicker. So what are we gonna do? Now I had a bit of a plan here, I wanted to, I wanted to put the 
chassis there. And I want to go down. But apparently it should be three blocks deep. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So one thing I learned from last time I did this is you really want to have the request table and the draw controller really, really close to each other because uh, I kind of didn't last time and it was a bit of a pain. So let's put the draw controller there. We need this item sync provider. So one can go in, one can go in. Uh, I'm going to need a... I wonder if I use the electric wrench actually. Nope, sure can't. So I'm going to need a wrench at some point. Um, <laughs> let's grab some of these. Now I can't for the life of me remember. Wow, okay, so that's working with no power whatsoever. And I can see everything. Hmm. I think that must just be like I won't be able to request anything, I think. So let's just request a request. No energy. Yeah, no energy. Cool, alright. That's handy. So then we want to go here. Ah, uh, now I don't want this to be connected to there. How can I stop that from happening? Hmm. Okay, for now I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that bit out later. I think I need some covers or something for that. So for now I'm just gonna go. Oh, that's gonna be terrible as well. Yeah, this is not gonna be good cover cover yeah I don't think that's the right cover either forge micro blocks uh, what are the pipes called so BC transport BC transport lenses Facades, that's the word I'm looking for. All right, so the assembly table can take cobblestone structure pipe, and then you get a facade out of the slab and some cobblestone structure pipes. Awesome, so let's just quickly try and make some of that. I haven't had to do this sort of stuff for a long time. Hey, simple pipes. Uh, Let's turn those off, put some of that in, put some of that in. Oh, with only one of those I can get six facades. And it takes stuff all energy, so that's cool. Ta-da! Cool, let's give that a go. Which means I can... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Actually, I'm going to have to put one there. <laughs> I am so short on space here. Hopefully once it works. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, that worked really well. Cool. Okay, don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's, let's restore some of this power. Let's do flux start. One was there. Let's jump. I might move all this at some point. Once we get more diamonds, I do actually want to replace this hammer here with one of those um, compressed hammers, which should be really, really good. That goes there, that goes there. And we need that, 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 and one there. Now, that should give us power. Yep, green lights all the way through. We should be able to get our gold request. Okay, we need to turn that pop up off. Oh, and that came really, really fast as well. So if I throw that back in. Uh, okay, that's, ah, now that's an interesting thing. I can't throw that back in there just yet because I need a wrench. Industrial craft, or the forestry. The forestry one's a lot cheaper. 
<laughs> should say you put a needle to hammer when you need it to be one. Uh, tin end. That's pretty cheap as well. Um, all right, let's just let's just use this. I usually end up with so many different tools anyway. Uh, at least this one. I don't think this one runs out of durability. So we should better get in there. Yeah, there we go. So item sync module. Let's request that, and we want to make this the default route. Now this is what we need to happen uh, for things to most definitely have somewhere to go, which means now I can throw that into there and it'll disappear and that'll count up to 270. Although one of the things I've found is you need to refresh it for it to happen. Uh, but that's working pretty well. And as you can see, we can see all the extra levels of the compressed stuff as well. Awesome. And that is a pretty good place for me to end this episode. Um, we can now see everything in our storage drawers. I can also rock up to here and just double right click and that'll get rid of all the bits and pieces in here that may have a home to go to. Uh, obviously that's quite full of cobblestone so I can't ever dump cobblestone in there but that's not too much of a problem. Alrighty, uh, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.